discount forklift. Want to, of course, show you off your Gale 4,000 pound capacity docker, or actually my docker order picker. Um, we do have the reconditioned uh, sticker on the battery. We have the service sticker, of course, let you know it's been through the shop. Safety painted red and yellow force. Now my sales manager, Mike, will go ahead and jump up in there and show you how she works. All right, kind of simple things here. You have your kill switch on top. So basically if I was to press that as it's on, it basically shut this whole machine down. That way, if it loses control, whatever it might be, that's always a safety button to hit. Just like a standard ignition and everything, you're just gonna rotate that key to where it says it's on. You'll see the strobe on the front activate. You have your steering system here. So this is actually gonna control the wheel. It's gonna make this go right or left, right? You do have your battery indicator here. You have your controls here. So this, you have a uh, thumb control. If you actually rotate that up, it's gonna actually make this whole platform raise. Lower is obviously that. You do have the trigger right there, which is a horn. And then in order for this thing to drive, you have to depress this brake here. And this will actually let it go forward or backwards or even uh, controlling this mass to raise it up. So I'm gonna take this for a spin, show you guys what it does. When you're operating this lift, you do have a bracket here, and that will actually have to have a harness attached to this. So normally, we would do that. We don't have any harnesses here, so we're taking a risk doing this, but just to show you guys what this is, it needs a uh, harness required. Something like this, it will go up about 15 to 20 feet on average, which is pretty easy to use. And then you do have your brake here, so if you actually stick a pallet here, find that control. There usually will be a clamp that the pallet will go into right there, which is what this is. Okay, so once I hit that, that's the release. So again, it's allowed a pallet to slide in. And now that's basically locking it in. So that way you're not having this pallet shifting and everything like that. So the last thing that you guys need to know about this lift is your data tag, which is gonna be located on the inside of the left part of the machine here. You go to that cab there. That has all your guys' information as far as the serial number, the model number, um, even some battery specs, as well as the capacity of this lift, as well as how high it will go up to the capacity with that. But since this is an order picker, it's not really that much. But thank you guys for doing business with us so we can support businesses like you guys. We greatly appreciate it.